Valimaya! Yeah. Turn it to channel 13, man. I got us a lottery ticket. And this baby smells like a winner. Ah, <laughs> right, well, let's see it. Oh, wow. Let's see your 50 cents. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. Okay, so it's like that. Here you go. Thank you. Hey, these aren't the numbers we picked. They are now. Oh, Eddie, we had a system going on. George Brett's lifetime batting average and Halle Berry's measurements. I know, I know, but I was at the liquor store, and you know how long them lines could get, and I dozed off. And the new numbers came to me in a dream. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Who are you dreaming about, your third grade teacher? Hey, man, how you know? That's, that's spooky. <laughs> Give me my money back. I'm a little short right now, you know. But I can get it to you by the end of the week, baby. What? <laughs> Whatever. Welcome to Instant Millionaire. Tonight's jackpot is one million dollars. Which we'll never see. Now, for tonight's numbers. 25, 10, 15, 5, 20. And our final number, 30. Loser. It's a scam, man. I like to see the governor's numbers. <laughs> Thanks for the trip. This is my stop. <laughs> yes. Have a dollar, dear. Have a dollar, my man. Yeah, have a yeah. dollar. Don't holler. Hey, sweetheart. Buy yourself four quarters. Hey, uh, how about a seat up front there, playing Dexter? <laughs> Ooh, there's our check. Look at the size of that thing. It's huge. It's got to be to keep all those zeros that we go pocket. Mm. Your attention, please. For the first time ever, we have 13 winners of Instant Millionaire. Y'all all had a dream about my third grade teacher? Uh, who cares? We're all millionaires. Congratulations. Uh, Congratulations. Uh, no, yeah. no. I, you're all a millionaire. The money will be divided among all the winners equally. Uh, how much do we get? It's about 75000 apiece. That, that's, that's, hey, hey, give me my dollar. Thank you. Thank you. Then you bring the one, carry the one. It's about 75000 man. Uh, so, lucky winners, what do you plan to do with the money? Hmm? Um, we plan to uh, help out people. We're we gonna help some animals, too. You know, we're gonna save the whales, the dolphin, you know, the uh, Seattle Seahawks, and, and brothers on lockdown. We'll use this money to make this world a better place to live in. Now, this is a much better place to live. Yes, yes! Hey, hey, yeah, right over there, fellas. There you go. Three quarters, three quarters. Don't you break it. Expensive. Now, well, thank you, gentlemen. Uh, here's, uh, here's a dollar. Y'all work out the split. Look at this baby right here. 53 inches. Mm. Surround sound. D D T S T H X 200 channels. I think I'm in love. Should I leave you two alone? Maybe later, cause I got the Playboy channel. <laughs> we need to get a setter like this so we can get the Playboy channel in Japanese. Ooh, so <laughs> no, 
We need to stop blooming money. You know, I figured it out. And after taxes and all this stuff, we're down to about $21,000 a piece. Man, we ain't rich at all. Huh? I mean, I know people with that much money. Uh, we can be rich someday if we put our money into a sound, solid investment. We should spend it. You know what I'm saying? We should die on as much as we possibly can. See, I got a theory. Your life and your credit cards should match out at the same time. <laughs> I, I get it. I got it. No, I got it. No, I, I got it. it. Hey, hey, I'm here. I got it. Nice choice in door. Yes, it is. Yes. Hi. Well, hello. I'm Bridget. I just moved in across the hall. Well, I'm Malcolm, and this is Eddie. Come on in, have some champagne. We'd love to have you for brunch. <laughs> you guys won a million dollars. Yeah, that's right. And we spent a whole lot of money redecorating the place, as you can see. And we still have about $40,000 to play with. You spent $960,000 on this stuff. Where'd you go shopping? The Kennedy auction? Hey, man, you better watch that one. She got a mind like a cash register. <laughs> Oh, Eddie, get your toothbrush. The cops have finally come for you. I wasn't nowhere in the vicinity. I don't even know what he looked like. I didn't even see the purse. No, that's Nicolette, my roommate. Nicolette, that one's Malcolm. Mmm, that one's delicious. Get the video camera, man. I'm about to be harassed. I'm not a cop, not yet. I'm currently in parking enforcement. They don't let you carry a gun, do they? Oh, no, I don't need one. I'm an expert with my hands. In fact, I can break a man's ribs without leaving a bruise. But I'd never do that to you. <laughs> Unless you break my heart. You're a little freaky freak, ain't you? See you guys in the hallway. Uh, Bridget, uh, you know, I was thinking, you know, I have two tickets to this Sunday's uh, Chiefs game. Uh, 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 uh. Uh. I thought you said you was inviting me. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Did I forget to tell you, you know, the uh, Chiefs game thing this Sunday? Yeah. It's not gonna work out. <laughs> so, uh, Bridget, what do you say? She's dating Damon Stoudemire, NBA Rookie of the Year. You mean the dude they sent off to Canada mm -hmm. to freeze his buns off with the mounted police? <laughs> he can't even get a tennis shoe contract. I could take him any day. Bridget, girl, how you doing? Huh? Hey, man, my man. Up, man? <laughs> I was just telling them how dope you was, man. You, you should have got all star, man. I voted for you, though. Oh, yeah, obviously you didn't vote enough, though. That's all right, though, next year, though. Right, right. So, Bridge, what's up? Let's say we get out of here, I'm double parked downstairs, Red. Okay. Double parked? Let's test your speed, rookie. <laughs> nice meeting you guys. Then, Bridget, she trouble. I don't know. I like trouble. The lottery winner's here. Drinks for everybody. All right. Everybody who won the lottery. Oh. I didn't make that much. Malcolm. Malcolm. Who you fantasizing about? Tony Braxton or the new girls next door? Neither. I was thinking about us. Hey, hey, hey. Uh... No, our lives. Eddie, you and I are at a crossroads. See, there's a reason you and I won this lottery. Yeah, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. It ain't that deep. When we first hit jackpot, I said, great, now I don't have to try to be a sportscaster anymore. But ever since then, I've been thinking, maybe I don't even want to be a sportscaster. Man, you seriously messing up my lottery buzz, man. <laughs> Aloha, Mainlanders. Hey, hey. hey Kelly. <laughs> Wait a minute. Now. Kelly, please don't tell me that's our new uniform. I would rather work at Hooters. No, no. Listen, everybody, I got great news. What? I'm moving to Hawaii. <gasps> hey, uh, that's great, Kelly. That's going to be a hell of a commute. <laughs> no, no, my husband got transferred. You know, he's been working in the coconut industry for years. It was only a matter of time. Well, what's going to happen to the bar? Well, you got me. I need to sell the whole building as soon as possible. Hey, maybe a couple of big lottery winners will take it off my hands, huh? <laughs> now there's your sound investment. We can go in on it together. You get your bar, and I get my garage. 
Yeah, I'd love to own this place. Well, hey, if you're serious, you could get in for about 40000 and then take over the payments. Heck, I don't have any equity in this money-sucking sack of potential revenue. Hey, Kelly, you know, I know I could turn this bar into something great, but I only have half the money. And I got the other half. Can you give me a little time? Well, you better move fast. I've already got one hot prospect. The first person with the cash gets the building. Well, I'll be back. Gotta get to my scuba lesson. Hey, take Tim and practice harpooning. <laughs> Where, where, where can I get my hands on 20 grand? Hello, I got the money. Hey, I'll go straight to the bank. Hey, how about the bank of Eddie Sherman? I give out frequent fly miles, big loans. Anybody listening to me? I know it's me talking, I recognize the voice. Hey, Tim, do you hear me? Uh, no, Eddie, I have a harpoon in my ear. Listen to me, we can make a great team. You can run the bar, I can run the garage. Man, we can make a fortune. You get them all liquored up up at the bar, they running the telephone poles, I tore them down here. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing, man. Yeah, sure, Eddie. And we can serve poison food and open up a hospital upstairs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you see what's happening? We cross-pollinate. <laughs> hey, hey, no, 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 no. I'm telling you, man. Look. Eddie, I just don't want anything messing up our friendship. Like what? I don't know. I mean, but whenever friends go into business together, something always happens. A perfect example. Johnson & Johnson and Appleby. I thought it was Johnson & Johnson. It is now. See, legend has it that Appleby was found lying face down in a vat of baby shampoo. No more tears, no more nothing. I think somebody's forgetting who thought of the winning numbers. So you wouldn't have a nickel if I didn't have sense enough to fall asleep in the liquor stuff. <laughs> Look, if I had one good business reason to take you on as a partner, I would. Hey, guys. Uh, I'm sorry, Malcolm. The hot prospects loan was just approved. If you're really serious about buying the place, you have to come up with the 40000 right now. Sure. Uh. Boing, boing. Man, you need my cash in your hand. Oh, cha boing, boing. Cha boing, boing. Do zoo animals from the zoo live with you? Uh, At Willa's house, they do. Lucky. Willa's got a lot of unusual pets. What is that? That are always ready to lend a trunk or a hump. A place to hide. Thanks, Gus. Or a great ride. Wallace, I need to take a little trip on your tail. Willa! Take a walk on the wild side. Willa's wild life. Only on Cubo. <laughs> Do you believe it, partner? We actually own a building. And we own every table, every chair, every matchbook, every match, all of it. It all belongs to me. <laughs> Brother man, that's a short trip from we to me. We to me. Did I say me? No, I, I meant we. You know, sometimes I get my W's turned upside down. <laughs> hey, here come my little neighbors. Miss Thing and The Thing. <laughs> Since we own the building, we are their landlords. Good. Less a victim. Oh, no. No, no. See, this is about to get fun. See, I have the upper hand now. Power. Success. See, that's what a woman like Bridget responds to. Not looks, not charm, not humor. Good, because you ain't having the luck with the latter three. Uh, look at her. She's drawn to me. The girl can't help herself. She's the mouse and I'm the cheese. Look like the cheese standing alone, getting nibbled on by the mouses. Hi, Eddie. Mmm, you smell good today. Hey, 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 hey. Now, if you smell me, you're way too close. Hi, guys. Have you seen Kelly? Oh, Bridget. 
Kelly moved to Hawaii. <clears throat> Eddie and I bought the building. Guess that makes us your landlords. Yeah, lords of the land. <laughs> Which means you two are our loyal subjects. Well, sire. Ooh. It also makes you responsible for fixing our leaky faucet, broken stove, and light fixtures in the hallway. And I wouldn't mess with Bridget. She's in law school. She'd take your butt to court and call it homework. Oh, that won't be necessary. As long as you observe the state of Missouri's sexual harassment laws. See you on the first. Personally, I'm not so strict about that harassment thing. Well, I'm gonna get on out of here, man. I'm gonna take our last two grand and get a diagnostic machine for the garage. Well, I hope you mean the last two grand after I spend our last two grand on the cappuccino machine. My garage needs a diagnostic machine. Sounds like me and you need to have a little board meeting. Fine. I'm bored. Into me. <laughs> see? You see, see, you don't know the first thing about business. If I don't know the first thing about business and you pick me as your partner, who's the fool? Oh, now you calling me a fool? F-double-O-O. -O -O. Who's the fool? <laughs> oh, I got you a fool. Let me, let me, let me no, tell no, you no. about fool. Fool. No, I got you a fool. Your... <clears throat> let me... <clears throat> gentlemen, gentlemen, you're bickering like little children. Let's settle this like men. Down. You're going down. Now each of you has 15 seconds to make a move after your opponent hits the clock. You understand? We know the rules. Now sit down, you're eclipsing the sun. <laughs> Quit stalling, let's rumble. You made the same move that I made. Oh, well, it would look that way to an amateur. <laughs> I'm gonna move my little pun. Now watch as my munchkin army starts to roll down on you. Well, you tell the munchkins to run for cover cause the wicked witch is coming. Ding dong, the witch is dead. <laughs> that queen was just part of my strategy, you see. Ahem, ahem, ahem. Your chest is very good. <laughs> my chest is better. When the cappuccino machine remind me that you only get decaf. <laughs> now, you've been checked. Prepare to be mated. Hey, uh, Malcolm, can you give me a hand with this zipper? I can't seem to get it. Oh, yeah. Mm. Failure to move in time. Forfeit one turn. And don't forget you owe me a free tune-up for that little zipper thing. Ah, uh, excuse me, do I know you? You set me up. Nah, I took advantage of your weakness for the flesh. Oh, man, you know, that doesn't. I'm buying you out. Uh-uh, uh-uh, who's to say I'm not buying you out? <laughs> hey, I'm looking for the new owner. Uh, I'm, I'm the, the new, new owner. owner. <laughs> yeah. Well, then you owe me a thousand dollars. I'll talk to him, he buying me out. I'm with the liquor distributor. Here's your invoice. Well, Kelly didn't say anything about this. Hey, I'm into collections, not explanations, all right? Pay up or I take all your booze. Hey, wait, wait. I wouldn't do that if I was you, man. Oh, and why is that? I mean, see this guy right here? That's Malcolm McGee of the Minneapolis McGee's. Gabisha? Huh? Bad people, very bad people, huh? Don't let the baby face fool you. Behind that Kool-Aid smile and that little fuzzy mustache lies a cold-blooded man-eating shark. Looking through those eyes, they never blink. 
You want to mess with a man that don't blink? Okay. You got two months. That's better. And don't worry. You got nothing to fear. <laughs> Duh. Hey, I cut you some slack because your buddy here, huh? He's got marbles, this guy. Big ones, like calzones, huh? <laughs> I love this guy. <laughs> Paisan, huh? Give me one of those. Hey! <laughs> <Give me. laughs> Two months. Listen, thank you for stepping in. Hey, no problem, man. What a part in this <laughs> All right, Listen, Eddie, I don't really want to buy you out. Hey, I didn't want to buy you out either, man. You know, maybe we can make this partnership thing work out after all. Yeah, hey, man, be cool. I mean, as long as it don't mess with our friendship. Tell you what, the hell with being friends, let's make some money. Dead presidents, hey, bro. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Them old dead ones with the gray plate, fake wigs, wooden teeth. Some of those. Right in the Look what I bought today. Oh, man, you got that for me? I got you a diagnostic machine, man. I ran the numbers and I realized we would make more money with this than we would the cappuccino machine. <coughs> uh, thanks, man. Hey, what's in that box over there? Oh, I, oh, I went shopping too, man. <laughs> no. No, you didn't. You bought me a cappuccino machine. I'm afraid I did, <laughs> man. My man. <laughs> All right. And they spelled latte wrong on the oh, nozzle, so I got to no take problem. it back. No problem. Now, you don't even want to look at it. You going to fall in you love with it. it. I'm going to have to take it back. <laughs> <clears throat> but can you believe that? They stuck a diagnostic machine in a cappuccino box. Take this right back to the cappuccino store. It's on, bruh. I'm sorry, we're done. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Come on. Hey, man, I can't work under these conditions, man. I mean, this bruh dripping all over. Give me the cow, give me the cow, give me the cow. And quit stalling, let's rumble. Boing, boing.